Gamar Joba, and welcome to my home. I'm teleworking today to comply with the guidance from Georgia's public health experts to maintain social distancing. It's encouraging news that Georgia is gradually able to open some businesses. I know we're all anxious to get back to work at full capacity as soon as it's safe to do so. We owe a huge thank you to the health authorities, NCDC, doctors and researchers, and the government for managing this crisis responsibly. Their proactive efforts will make it possible for Georgia to reopen safely. We're not there yet though. As Dr. Gam Kralidze has said, we have not yet defeated COVID-19. It is so important to continue to take the necessary precautions and to take this virus seriously. The United States is leading the world's humanitarian and health response to COVID-19 while battling the virus at home. As part of this response, the United States has committed nearly $1 billion to date in health, humanitarian, and economic assistance. This is in addition to the funding we already provide to multilateral and non-governmental organizations that are helping communities to fight this pandemic. Here in Georgia, the embassy continues to look for ways the United States can help Georgians. Today, I am very pleased to announce that the United States Department of Agriculture, through the Food for Progress program, is donating an additional 27,000 tons of high-quality U.S. wheat to support Georgia during this outbreak. This is in addition to the 27,000 tons of U.S. wheat donated last December. While other countries are banning the exports of wheats and grains, the United States is providing more to help people get through this crisis. The U.S. wheat is being provided through a $14.5 million program called Food for Progress. We are working with great partners on this project, including Land of Lakes Venture 37, Michigan State University, and the Georgian Farmers Association, along with the Ministry of Agriculture and the National Food Agency and Georgia's Innovation and Technology Agency. By the end of this month, the U.S. Department of Agriculture will sign 18 small grant agreements, totaling $400,000, to strengthen the dairy, beef, and farming sectors and improve food safety standards in Georgia. The U.S. also continues to provide new assistance in the healthcare sector. I'm pleased today to announce an additional $3 million from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to support Georgia's response to COVID-19. Since January, CDC has supported Georgia's preparation and response to the pandemic, partnering with, this, with the NCDC and the Ministry of Health. Some of the activities they've been working on together include training healthcare workers on the proper use of personal protective equipment, infection prevention and control, and contact tracing of suspected cases of COVID-19. They've also been providing technical assistance on patient management and flow systems to mitigate the spread of the virus in hospital settings. And they have been training field epidemiologists, we call them disease detectives, and giving them the necessary skills to co collect, analyze, and interpret COVID-19 data. This $3 million in new funding builds on CDC's more than 10-year partnership with Georgia across priority public health uh, programs such as eliminating hepatitis C, the field epidemiology and laboratory training program, and supporting, of course, the Luger Center uh, to provide quality assurance and control for laboratories across the country. If you're interested in learning more, please visit the CDC website at www.cdc.gov. Thank you again for joining me today and for all of your contributions to this fight against this virus. The fight is not over yet, but we are definitely making progress. Didi Madloba, Nakvamdis.